I know a lot of you don't really care about video game politics, but there's a big community out there who actually give a fuck. And when it comes to shady, fucked up business practices, I gotta say something about this. Activision, the people who make Call of Duty, the people who publish Call of Duty, excuse me, they have, for the longest goddamn time, shown the shittiest, the shittiest business practice of all time. For years. They have fucked over quite a few people. And they have stolen money out of your pockets without you even knowing. Just recently, they came out with Call of Duty Cold War. And because you guys pay the full $70 price tag, you are buying into their bullshit. Congratulations. You're a sucker. Here we go. So it just straight up says PlayStation gives you an edge. Early access to zombies onslaught. So it's one year exclusive on PlayStation. So they're they're locking a mode for a year on PlayStation. Bonus weapon XP. Two additional loadout slots. A convenience that's just being removed from other platforms. Double XP. Bonus uh, battle pass skips. And you get the idea. I'm actually kind of sad to see that so many people have already bought this fucking game and completely ignored the fact that Activision blatantly did this. If you got a PlayStation, you're in luck. You get to enjoy the full game. But if you have an Xbox, if you have a PC, sorry. You can't even play zombies for a whole year. <laughs> fucking design a whole fucking game and then you purposely, you purposely lock them and make them only available to people who is only going to spend money on a fucking PlayStation. Exclusivity, bro. And they blatantly do this shit. How are you supposed to feel if you are on any other console when you just want to play a simple fucking video game? And yet Activision does little practices like this, and people buy right into it because everyone loves Call of Duty. Everyone loves it. Their battle passes. Oh yeah, fucking, uh, what, Fortnite did it so well that every other game did it. Of course, Activision saw this money scheme and was like, <laughs> let's capitalize. Regis cock sucking little fucking pieces of shit. And you all support him. Contemplating on getting Call of Duty War or Cold War. But you know, these games come out every year. Of course, they're going to be a goddamn cash cow, a blatant one that no one fucking seems to give a fuck about. And now that they charge an extra $10 for their game, oh yeah, they're going to be making a killing. And then they're going to be charging you for those battle passes. Every motherfucking, what, month. <laughs> it's a cash cow, ladies and gentlemen. And Activision are going to be rich, and they're going to continue doing their thing for years and years to come until the new video game industry comes out, which would probably be after I fucking die. Or hell, we probably won't even have video games by that point. We'd be living in them, and our entire lives will be fucking monetized. You can't wake up in the morning without watching an advertisement. You can't fucking, you can't fucking go into a new match without fucking having to drop a a fucking fifty dollar day pass or some stupid shit. The games used to be something as simple as you buy a console, you take the disc, and you pop it in, and you play it, and you unlock everything that's already programmed in the game. Nowadays. It's, you buy the fucking video game, then you buy the multiplayer, then you buy the fucking campaign, then you buy the fucking DLC, then you buy the fucking new guns, then you buy the fucking new skins, then you buy the new fucking map pack, and then you buy this, you buy that, and you buy this. Oh, and if you don't buy the right console, you can't play some of the modes in the fucking game. Next time another fucking Call of Duty comes out, think to yourself... Think to yourself, just for one second, what are you really buying here? Are you buying a video game? Or are you just buying into their bullshit? You tell me. 
just because the game looks nice and looks fun and plays the same as every other fucking Call of Duty ever fucking out there doesn't mean it's a good game. But you can make a choice. You can continue buying the bullshit and continue making them money so they can continue doing stupid shit like this. Or you can stand up and just not buy the fucking game. Food for thought, ladies and gentlemen.